Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room today. I am a Canadian independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am so excited to share a card with you I created using a Catching Butterflies stamp set. Now this stamp set I is... Catching okay, I got it going. All right, there. I can watch for comments now. Um, you can get this stamp set for free until February the 28th with a minimum $60 order. It It's part of Celebration January, February 2022. Now they tell us, hi Janet, they tell us we're going to have two celebrations this year, but the second one's not confirmed yet. So this one is happening now. There's items in here that you can get free with a $60 order. And then towards the back, there's items you can get free with $120. So this one, you get the stamp set and this gorgeous paper. Now, I've done a, quite a few cards using this. Hi, Norma, Carmen, Holly. Thanks so much for joining me. So I've done quite a few cards with this bundle. And then, of course, at the very back. If you host a party or are part of my club and are the hostess or you want to do it yourself or get a couple of friends together and put a $375 order in, you can get Calming Camellia. Now, I have this stamp set. Surprise, surprise. Hi, Connie. Um, and I've got this stuff out because I thought we'd stamp and I'd color that this stamp set like the one I showed you that Frenchie Martin did. So I have I have the colors and I have the cardstock. So if I get this the card done that I'm going to make with catching butterflies, then we'll do calming camellia too. And I don't see any problem because it's it's a lovely card, but it's easy. So first of all, get myself organized here because I want to show you a card I got in the mail today. And don't let me forget, I have the draw for the Share It Saturday winner from January the 22nd to do yet tonight. So I got this card in the mail today from Valerie. I don't know whether Valerie has joined us yet, but thanks so much, Val. Isn't it cute? Look, these little pineapples have faces. I love it. it says you're a fine apple. So thanks. I love getting cards in the mail. Love, 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 love. Okay, so here's my card. It uses the Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper. And the rest of it belongs to the Catching Butterfly stamp set. So you'll see that I kind of, kind of, no. You'll see that I stamped the net twice and cut it out so that it's above that. And added some in color jewels and tonight I haven't got the jewels up because I thought we'd see if um, we came up with something else instead of the in color jewels it is colorful it's a really fun fun card now I did a row of butterflies on the inside but I didn't color them and I didn't take the time to do an envelope but I'm going to do one tonight so they're like um, I did the butterflies on the front and then I added one of the brushed brass butterflies. Hey, Kathy. Yep, a shiny butterfly. So just let me get those out. And I'll get the in color jewels out just in case we decide to use them. Then I've got everything I need. Well, there it is. I was going to say except for my card kit, but here it is. Okay, so the the base on this one is Pale Papaya, but I decided to change it up a bit. So I'm using Mango Melody as the base, and I have a piece for the inside, five and a quarter by four. Pa basic Black is five and a quarter by four, and then we're going to use this fun, sunshiny designer paper on the front of it. And I have a strip to put on the inside if we decide. Some ribbon, I've already tied the bow. And I'm going to do some circles and then a bunch of circles. And this is the piece for the extra net. Unfortunately, the net has to be 
hand cut because you know there's no dies for this one okay so let's first of all get some stamping done that and these two so I need a piece of dirty paper here and I'm going to use um, memento memento basic black and here's the stamp we'll ink that up in memento get it nice and juicy so how was your weekend did you have a good weekend I did I got to play with my team on Saturday we had a team mini retreat on Saturday evening that was so much fun we laughed and stamped and played with the um, flowering rain boots bundle. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Shanna. Hi, Wendy. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this. Or cut. No, not yet. I'm going to stamp the net is the word that I'm trying to get out of my mouth. Because, you know, it doesn't always happen when you want it to come out. Okay. So I have I have the draw tonight. Love that thin rain boot card. Which thin rain boot card? Kathy, I don't remember. You know, I post these things and then they, they go out of my head. Okay, butterflies to die cut. The sentiment, now I'm going to change the sentiment up and say collecting sweet thoughts of you instead of celebrate every beautiful thing. Oh yes, that one. Yeah, that was, I, that wasn't my card, but it was a gorgeous card. I loved it. I wish I had 48 hours in every day so I could, um, make all these cards that I want. Oh, Shanna, that's awesome. A day, enforced days off. Good for you. I was talking to my my friend Leanne in Saskatchewan, and they're having one heck of a storm. There's seven to eight feet of snow. And I just got to get the right dies here. There's seven to eight feet of snow, minus 38 conditions, and the wind is blowing. I'm so glad I don't live in Saskatchewan. Okay, so I'm just going to get my my plate here and start putting these on as I line them up. Okay, and I think this is the next one. Yeah, get that one. Now this one doesn't cut out all the butterflies. It's really close, but you just just go for it. Yeah, Shanna is in my team, Shanna Miller, that's commenting. And she goes live on Saturday mornings, 9.30 our time, I believe it is. And um, I enjoy going and watching her stuff. She makes some beautiful cards. All right. Now, which one did I use for her? Nope, next one up. Um, she was doing Chasing Butterflies as well on the weekend. Okay, that's not big enough. So I'll just cut it out. Cut it out of this. Nobody will ever know. And then I just have that one to do. That's that one. And we'll just whip it out of there. Maybe, maybe I can get them all in one, one go through my machine. Let's see. I don't know. Here we go. 
9.30. Yes, our time. Can't, or BC time. 9.30. I uh, used um, post-it tape, Kathy, or post-it notes. Whatever I have handy. Oops, I'll go over there. Yeah, they're re they're reusable to a certain extent. It um uh oh. See I wasn't all the way on the mat when I cut that and it didn't cut that. So now I've got to run that one through again. Um sometimes you can get away with using them five or six times and then they start to fall apart. So Okay, I'm just going to run this one through again, get it cut properly. There we are. Well, do those die sheets come on, Meg? Dollar Store, Kathy. Dollarama. Nope. Dollar Tree is where I get mine from. They come, they come in these plastic sleeves on... Um, taped onto a piece of light cardboard and I take those out and throw them away and put the um, magnetic sheets in there. Now some people keep some of their dies on these magnetic sheets and actually put them on this side of the um, stamp case. If Like if this had matching dies then some people keep them in there. But I don't. I keep mine alphabetically in a box sitting up like this all the way because I don't only want to use them with that stamp set. I go through and when I'm looking for something and I can flip through it. I am a wealth of useless information. Always. Oh, and then I die cut everything but her. Shoot. I gotta get my dies back out. Yeah, they. it works really good. Okay, let me figure out which one I am using for her. Is it that one? Nope. Next one up. That one. Okay, we'll just cut her out. Let's move it down a bit because I'm not worried about getting her net in there. I'm worried about getting her feet in there. Okay, cut that one out. Okay. Oof, just got it. See, and then when they get to that, when they've been used too much, they just rip right where the die was. And then I just get more out. I found that the... Hi, Lena. I found that the die, the um, post-it notes that are waterproof, they're kind of like plasticky. Let me get one for and show you. So these are um, kind of sort of waterproof. They're not real paper. They're more like a plasticky thing. They are the extreme ones. And these ones last really well. Uh, a lot longer than the post-it notes or the post-it tape. Okay. I think we got, let's just make sure everything is, I cut it all right before we start coloring anything. Yay. Okay, and that's that. So her dress, I'm going to cut with Flirty Flamingo. A cut. Okay, now I have cutting on the brain. And I'm going to use the light in the dark. Just stick some light in there. And then I'm going to go back in with the dark. And I watched Shanna color on Saturday. And I've colored the top of her dress darker. And Shanna colored the bottom of her dress darker. It was really cute. I am. Um, I had a lot of crafty time in my craft room this weekend too. It was. It was a good weekend. It was rainy and gross. 
Now I'm just going to add a little bit of color, kind of coming down from her neck area there. And then go in with the light one and just kind of blend it. There we are. Okay. Now, I forgot to get a skin color out. Uh-oh. Where did I put my... Oh, no. There it is. My cheat sheet for the new colors. Uh, I think I did her in ivory. But let's do it in 800. There. And I need to make um, little stickers for the ends of these to have the, the color number on there. Just to make it f easier for me to find. There we go. I'm not going to worry about blending on her face. She, her face is going to be all the same color. And then I'm going to use another one of the new ones. Now, this is one of the new colors available tomorrow, starting tomorrow, February the 1st. There is two, four, six, eight. There's ten new colors. These are the ones. And they're, num they're um, meant for skin tones. They go from light to deep. But I love them for coloring other things other than skin tones. That um, rock wall that's in the Peekaboo Farm is amazing, done that way. And um, any tree trunk. What did you say? I did my end dots today. I was getting so confused. What's an end dot? You're confused because you were supposed to be working, you see. Your body is not used to you being home. I have no idea what an end dot is. Well, I probably do, but, you know, brain cells not working right now. So this one, I'm using number 600 to give her some brown hair. Just coloring in there. Now, you could get really fancy and do highlights and low lights and I'm not going to worry about it. The Stampin' Blends, I do like them for coloring though. But if you don't like the fact that you, the, with the really thin areas like that, if you don't like the fact that the color will go outside your, the lines, then don't use these markers because they will. Oh, oh, <laughs> I was just talking about the end dots. And then it's like, what are you talking about, Shanna? Good gosh. Okay, so I've got butterflies. And we're going to do some of them in flirty, the dark flirty flamingo. And some of them in dark pale papaya. So we'll do it the other way this time. I did the little ones in Flirty Flamingo and the big ones in Pale Papaya. So we'll just flip that around. Do it the other way. Hello, Valerie. You are late. You missed your card. I showed your card at the beginning. The one I received today. So thank you. I received your card today. That would be your, your uh, fine apple, pineapple card. All right. Let's get these butterflies done here. Now, do you want me do you want me to stamp a row of butterflies on the inside or put a strip of the designer paper in there? So tell me what what option you prefer. Butterflies or designer paper? on the inside of this card that I'm doing now. That's why that designer paper is different than the one on the front of that card. 
I love this Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper. And I didn't think I was going to at the beginning. I thought, oh my, that's just not for me. But it's amazing. I love it. There we go. Butterflies. Oh, we have one designer paper and three butterflies so far. Okay, let's get some adhesive on these things. Get them stuck to the to their scallopies. Now you can do this layout with circles or ovals or squares or any kind of a a die that you have. It doesn't have to be the circles. Oh, it looks like it's going to be butterflies. I'll use the, I know, we'll use the designer paper on the envelope. We can do that. That way nobody's left out. They're stuck into my fingers. Here we are. So there's all those ready. Now it's got to cut out the net here because this is going up on dimensionals over top of her because I like the way it, it sticks off the page when you use when you use the when you cut it out, stamp it separately and cut it out. Well, just a little bit more interest. Now you didn't you don't have to do it this way. You could do that that technique. What is that technique called? Where you you only cut out half of the the image with the die. So you would slip your um circle you'd you cut off out this part and then you slip your like this is here so there's your stamped image so you would cut this part out and then slip your circle in and cut out just this and then that's still attached to that you could do that way if you didn't want to fussy cut it out I can't remember what that's called come on Shannon you should know what it's called Okay, so I'm going to attach my designer paper to this piece of basic black that I cut the big hole in the middle of, but I'm not going to see the hole. So today I was creating with the Crane of Fortune, or this bundle and the Symbol of Fortune suite, because my club... In March, that's the theme of the club. Oh, I'll have to show you. So the theme of the club is um, the Symbols of Fortune suite. So I got, I created the three cards for that today, and they're stunning. I love them. I can't give you a sneak peek because they're club, they're exclusive club only cards, but. If you are wanting to do the cards, you can put in a minimum order using our club host code and I will send you the kits and you can come and join us for the stamping. We allow guests. Okay, so I put my um, uh, uh, ribbon there. I'm just putting some tear and tape over top of it. I like to anchor it down with the tear and tape. There we go. Yeah, so if you're if you're wanting to do those cards, send me an email or a message or phone me or something and let me know. That's happening. That's all happening on the 2nd of March. 2 days before 2 days before we get um home from Tofino. No, we leave for Tofino. We leave on the 4th of March. So 
exciting. I can't wait. I think we're down to like 31 days. 31 days till we're in Tofino. There we go. Oh, do you see what I just did? I just put it on there upside down. Okay, another trick Shanna shared with me on the weekend is run your pokey tool under here like this to separate them when they get stuck down when you're not supposed to have it where it is. It's like, okay, how blonde am I to put it on there upside down? Thank goodness for Tarrant or for Stamp and Seal, I tell you. I would be I'd be stuck if I didn't use this stuff. It's a good thing that Tarrant tape that's there didn't get stuck down very well. There we go. All right, there's our front. Now, this little cutie pie is going to go on here like that up on dimensionals. And then this one's going to go here. This one's going to go up there. Those are all on dimensionals and then we'll put the we'll put the net here. Okay. Dimensionals. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. Um, Valerie, you can. You can use um, the heat gun, but that would soften all the glue, too. Even the glue that I've got using um, putting the designer paper onto the black. So I sometimes I don't like doing that. Okay, so I'm just going to... I don't also don't like putting dimensionals on my ribbon. So I'm just going to do a dry run here to make sure I don't put them on the ribbon. But yes, you can use your, your heat gun. Okay, my garbage can here. And pop this on here. Like that, and I'm not pushing it down yet. Uh. Use a couple of these. Whoops. Poor hubby had to work today. Up and out of the house at some ungodly hour of like five o'clock in the morning. Um, but... I was still awake when his alarm went off. I had not been to sleep yet. There we go. That one's there. And now this one is only going to have adhesive on the this side of it. So let's put a couple of... So he puddled off to work and I fell asleep, finally. I hate it when that happens. I should have just got up at three o'clock when things were not going well and come into the craft room or go watch a TV show or something. I think I'll put that one right, right there. Let's have a look. Oh, I like that. Hey, push them down. Now, where did my net go? So the net is going to go right there right like that. So I need to put dimensionals up there. I I do I hate it too. I hate not being able to sleep. It's truly truly annoying. And I don't know why. I like I know myself. Just accept the fact that you're not going to sleep. Get up, do something productive. So I have to I we have a we have a heated mattress pad on our bed. And when I can't sleep, I have to get up and get put the bed on as I get up and then get really, really cold and then go back in and snuggle in and off to La La Land I go. Okay, I'm going to use some um, Winko Stella, but I don't want to just go over top of this net because it 
has been reactivating the uh, memento ink lately so I'm just going to be very careful that I kind of go only in the blank spaces because I don't want to reactivate that ink and have a big blotchy mess because if you look at this one you can see there's a little bit of a blotchy mess not too bad I don't know what Stampin' Up! is doing with their Whisper White or Basic White, but it's not reacting the way it usually does. Okay, we'll just do a little bit of dot dotting on the butterflies. Dot dot, dot. there we go. That cute? Isn't that cute? I love it. It is cozy. Um, when we, when we got married, we bought a waterbed. So the first 25 years of married life, I slept in a waterbed. When we had to finally decided to get rid of the waterbed, um, I couldn't get rid of the heat because of course a waterbed is heated, right? So that's when we ended up with the heated mattress pad. Thanks ladies. I love it. Okay, so butterflies on the inside. Butterflies. And we got lots of time, so I'll be able to do that calming camellia card for you. I want to, I'm doing it for you, but I'm also doing it for me. Get my dirty paper out here. I uh, don't have to take the blanket to Tofino, Kathy. The trailer has one of its own. Yep. The only bed that does not have one is our cabin because there's no electricity up there, so it won't work. <laughs> does not work very well. Okay, I'm not doing them all. I'm just going to do a few of the butterflies because I'd be here all night coloring butterflies and that's not what I want to do and I don't need it I know it's perfect it is nice and warm I spent a lot of time in Tofino in February and October I know what the weather's like there And when you're hooked up, when your trailer is hooked up to services in a in a trailer park or RV, don't call them trailer parks anymore. Um, in a resort, the power you're paying for the power anyway, so I might as well use it instead of using up the propane for the furnace. Okay, come on. Okay, we'll put this inside and then we'll put the designer paper on the envelope. Nope, no generator in the trailer. Absolutely not. No, I don't like generators. If we're somewhere there is no power, we just use our batteries. And if we have plugins, then we use the plugins. Oh, Valerie, we've got down comforter too. <laughs> I turn my heated mattress pad off when I get into bed. So I just use it um, when I first get into bed. It's that shock factor of having the heat, the cold bed and a cold body. I usually can't get to sleep. Okay, so we're going to put this in there. If I'm, if I'm cold, when I get into bed, it takes me hours to go to sleep. To My feet get very cold. Very, very cold. Okay, there we go. go cut off this extra. There we are. Cute. Super, super, super cute. 
There we go. Oh, look at she's so cute. I like it. What do you think? Yes? No? Cute stamp set? Oh, lucky you. Yeah, well, I have I have Raynaud's syndrome. So my hands and my feet get cold and they stay cold for a very long, long time. Thank you, ladies. That's cute. Very nice of you. Okay, so I'm going to change my colors. I haven't forgotten I have to do the draw, so that's still coming. Now, Frenchie used Mary Merlot. And that's what she stamped this in. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to kind of color with what... I don't know exactly what color she used, but I guessed. Yeah, it's not... It's not nice. My hands get so cold they ache, which is why for Christmas I asked for the... They're like electric mufflers. You know, muffs, the old muffs that we used to have to keep our hands warm in the wintertime. You know, they, the, the hands go in from each side and they're all nice and soft and puffy. Well, I got ones that plug into the wall and have heaters in them. So I got one that you can use as a, um, like attached to your body and have it when you're out for a walk or something. And the other one is just for when you're sitting and it's on your lap. They run on the, a wall plug or they run on a battery bank. So those are getting taken to Tofino with me too. Okay, so there's that. Oh, look at that stamp. That is so gorgeous. That is what it is, Val. Eh, I'm not worried about it. Okay, look, just look at that. Wow. So this is the one they also had stamped on dark cardstock and with white embossing powder and then used the white pencil crayon to color. But tonight we're going to use So Saffron, Light Calypso Coral, um, Light Soft Succulent, and Light Crumb Cake, and... Dark Flirty Flamingo. I think that's the color she had. So she... This is... This is Calming Camellia. So it's the Hostess stamp set that you can get for free during celebration. Okay, we'll just put some color right in the very center. Those two and the stem just add some brown this is light crumb cake and you're only going to get a hint of this because of it being so so dark oops go outside the lines oh so have you did you I don't know whether you can see what's happening, but it's reactivating the Mary Merlot ink. Oh, we're going to have to try that. Let's see what happens with Wink Estella. It's reactivating. The Stampin' Blends are reactivating the Mary Merlot ink, which is really unusual because it usually doesn't happen with our um, ink pads. Hmm, that's a bud. That's not a leaf. I'm just going to, I'm going to try to go over this and very lightly and try not to reactivate the, the ink because I want the green to show through, but it's not going to on the, the dark side. That is just, that's bizarre. But it's so pretty. the leaves done here. I love the flower set stamps. The flower in this set 
to Carmen. It's like my brain is not cooperating. There's another leaf up here. Yeah, so we had a team party on Saturday. Had lots of fun stamping together and socializing, and there was lots of prizes and goodies and chocolate and tea, and everybody got a goodie box from me and got their card kits. And it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Okay, so there's the leaves done, and I'll just bring it up here so you can see it up close. It's really, it's really gorgeous. Who would have thought? Okay, well, let's put some dark flirty flamingo on here and see what happens. Just coming out from the, the center of this flower like this. Oh, you're very welcome. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Let's put a little bit there. I love those. I do. I usually do them quarterly. Something I started during COVID, where we could get together virtually and have some fun. So this is um, light calypso coral out on the edges of these flowers. Like that. So, the next one is coming up. I don't know when. It will be maybe May, end of May, when the new catalog comes out. So, if you would like to join us, you can. All you have to do is get that Happy Shopper kit. So, you have until the end of your first full quarter. So if you sign up before February the 28th, um, your current quarter is January, February, March, and then your first full quarter is April, May, and June. So you're good to go until the end of June. So you would be able to join our mini retreat in May. Leaf. Oh, that's a bud. That's a bud down there, Connie. I'm going to color it. The flower colors. Oh, uh, thanks, Holly. I really enjoy it. Of course, I never know what the cards are going to be like. I choose a, I choose a bundle. I tell them what the bundle is. And then this time they chose the option of kits plus the bundle. So I order everything in, have it all sent to them, mail out the kits. Yeah, it was fun. Keeps us all interacting with each other. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, we'll do the outside of this flower. This is one of those color combinations that once you use it, you figure, you think, why didn't I use that before? Because it's so pretty. Pink and orange together. Who knew? Okay, I'll just do a little bit of extra coloring in here, make it a little bit darker. just to make the color stand out a little bit. Missed a spot there. Okay, now I'll do this, this one down here. 
and then I will get a piece of white and I will show you it's called outside the box I think that die cutting technique I was talking about there oh ladies it's so cute thanks Carmen gotta add some color get that Wink of Stella going oh I know also what I wanted to do I wanted to use Wink of Stella on this and see what happens when you add Wink of Stella directly to Mary Merlot because I haven't tried that before it's one of those ones that is an unknown just adding a little bit in the center of the the flowers oh lordy lordy that's gorgeous and it turned the centers all pink because of the reactivation I just see a little bit here where I need to blend this a little bit more I know I'm sometimes I'm fussy with my coloring There, we'll just let that um, dry a little bit. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I did the coloring, but I take no responsibility for that because that's that's 100% right from Frenchie Martin. Okay, got some more card stuff. Out of the box. Yes, that's what I thought. All right, where did I put my Mary Merlot? I'll leave that there. Isn't that gorgeous? Holy crowly. So I have one of these stamp sets that I have not used yet. Uncle Google. <laughs> Love Uncle Google. So I'm having a I'm having a calendar class on the twenty fourth of February. And anybody who signs up for that calendar class will get their name in the draw. I'm going to give one of these calming camellia stamp sets away. Okay, now let's get Wink of Stella and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Okay, that is stunning. So, if you haven't registered already for the class, please do so. Now, those that are part of my tutorial subscription, please get in touch with me for your options for that class. And I'm making it out of the Days to Remember stamp set, and it is perpetual, so you don't have to ever make another one so if you have somebody that you would like to give a calendar to but you don't want to keep replacing the calendar every year this is the perfect gift oh my gosh look at this how gorgeous this is of course anything with Wink of Stella is gorgeous oh, look at um, it does, but all you do is just just do that, and it comes right off. Start the car and sign me up. <laughs> Send me an email, Shanna, because you know I'm not going to remember. Okay, so look at that. Isn't that stunning? Two different ways to color that. And then there's the one on the dark cardstock as well. Okay, I got this, but it's not big enough. 
I gotta go get another piece. Just let me cut a piece. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> I know, Shanna. It's like, I can't remember this, my name from one day to the next. So I'm inking up my image in Memento, and I'm not going to take the time to make the card, but I want to show you this, this technique. There we are. Now, get the die. Get the die. There we go, that's the one I'm going to use. It's going to go back on the comments to me. Pick me, pick me, yeah. Well, send me an email though. All right, so this is going to go on here like that. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to make a mark right here. And I'm going to make a mark right there. Now, I haven't done this in a few years, so right now I'm praying that it's going to work. Up till 4 a.m. working. We should have been working together because, yeah, I was up till 4 a.m. too. Stupid brain. I think that's part of it. My brain has these all these cards in there that it want to come out. Okay, so I'm fussy cutting around this over to where that line is. See that line there? So there's where the line is and then you have to go a little bit further in. And how far in depends. Of course I can't cut left-handed so just go in here, finish cutting this out. Now, this I got to cut left handed, so pardon me if I really screw it up. So you go down to the, see, I'm down to that where that line is, and then I'm just going to go a little bit further. So what that does is it allows the die to go in here. So I've got the die, the cutting edge down, and you just slip it underneath that cuts, those cuts that you made, like that. And I'm going to run that through the machine. So now we take that out and there we go. Take off our pencil marks. And that's called out of the box die cutting. What do you think? Have you seen that technique before? Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. And if and you can tell that when you get this in here and get this all set up, you can tell. Just all you'd have to do is just cut a little bit more in here so that you can get that die a little bit deeper down in there and then you won't cut her toes off there see if I had to take in the time I would have not cut her toes off wow wow I know I've done it before but I it's been a lot of years since I did it well now you know how it's done. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. See, you never know what's going to happen on a Monday night. All sorts of stuff can happen. 
So that's why I'm only going live on Mondays and Fridays now because I can do less and do it better. There we go. So there's all our projects for tonight. I'm just going to clear my space here so I can get my wheel open. It is a neat idea, Kathy. It is a neat idea. And it works so well when you have something that sticks out like this. Like you could even do it here with this one and cut off the, have the stem outside your die and have the die cut a circle if you could if you've got a circle big enough you could do all sorts of things with it okay you're very welcome janet okay now we had one two three four five people enter the share it saturday draw from the 22nd of january so I'm going to draw now for the card and a little gifty. And a, Connie, your name is still in there. Even though I can't send you the little gifty, I will still send you the card if you win. So hang on. Here we go. And the winner is... And the winner is... Heather! Yay! Congratulations, Heather. I will... Oops, let's just do this. Like you really need to see me, but anyways. I will get a card and a little gifty ready for Heather for the next time I see her. Yes, congratulations. So don't forget, every Saturday I put the post up for the next week to um, stick a picture of your card or some other project. It doesn't have to be a card. It can be anything. If you made a 3D item or you've made a scrapbook page, I'd still love to see them. Just stick a picture of your project in the comments and the next, it cuts off on Friday at six o'clock because the next one posts Saturday morning. And then when it cuts off Friday, the next Monday, I will um, do the draw live during my make it with me monday oh make it with me monday did i do a recipe did anybody make it with me tonight or were you all just watching i completely forget that it's make it with me monday anyways you've got till friday at six o'clock to get your picture in on the one from january the 29th this past saturday and good luck everyone so thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have enjoyed these projects and the little tips and tricks I have been sharing with you. I will be live on Thursday night with something. Let's see what I'm doing Thursday night. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Got no idea. It's not in my it's not in my basket, so I've got something. It might be it might be another um, catching butterflies card. Could be. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll have something. You're very welcome, everybody. I'm going to flip you around because you've seen enough of me. You don't need to see me anymore. And I'll leave you with a parting look at all of our projects for tonight. And if, if you want to see the um, replay... It'll be on in my face, my VIP group where all my favorite people are. Oh, Thursdays are not on. You're right, Holly. I just said that. Hello, duh. That's why I don't have a card ready. Friday. Friday's collaboration night. And we're going to be collaborating with Catching Butterflies. So put on your thinking caps and think what we're going to do. I'll come up with some kind of a, a challenge or color or layout or something. The blanket is already on, Kathy. I put it on at 6 o'clock so that it's nice and warm by the time I go to bed at 4 a.m. <laughs> All right, ladies, thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. And I will see you Friday night at 8 o'clock Pacific time on Zoom or streamed right here live to my VIP page. Have a wonderful week, and don't forget, if you want to get your name in a draw for Calming Camellia, all you have to do is sign up 
for my perpetual calendar class in February. Registration is open now. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now.